In tonight's learning curve, several local school districts welcome students back to the classroom full time today. Among them, Natomas Unified. The district tells us about half of its students are opting to return to the classroom. So, what's keeping some students from going back? Let's dig into this. CBS 13's Renee Santos is live in Roseville getting answers for us. Hi, Renee. Hey guys, here at Silverado Middle School, only about 40 students here are still opting to continue distance learning. And that's out of nearly 900 students. This evening, we're learning just 11% of students district wide are planning to finish the year virtually, very different from other districts we checked in with today. For the first time in over a year, students at Silverado Middle School are getting a taste of what school used to be like. Enjoying lunchtime with friends now that Dry Creek Joint Elementary School District is back to school full time. It's kind of interesting, right? On Monday, about 850 out of nearly 900 students are back on campus, choosing in person learning, including Janet Turner's granddaughter. And she dealt with it well, but it's just nothing like in, in classroom. Teaching, I think. So, what does enrollment look like and how many students are still learning online? CBS 13 is getting answers. At Dry Creek Schools, 11% of students are choosing to continue distance learning, while 89% are in person. According to the district, teachers aren't having to pull double duty as the district has dedicated full time virtual learning teachers. So, how does that compare to other districts like Lodi and Atomis, all going full time? According to Lodi Unified School District, Roughly 70% of its students are choosing in person, while nearly 30% are remaining online. And over at Natomas Unified, enrollment is split with 49% in person and 51% opting distance learning. For Natomas parent Mary Abalo, her son with autism was struggling with distance learning. This is definitely better to get him on a, budget, on a schedule. Now, both Natomas and Lodi teachers do have the double duty of having to teach in person and online. But here at Dry Creek Schools, to give you an idea of how many students, the 11% that are continuing distance learning, that's about 700 students district wide. All right, interesting to hear those numbers. Thanks, Renee.